Why is there a need to strengthen the Welsh language provision in health and care? The answer is simple. It's to do with the respect and dignity of the person who needs the care. And if that person isn't comfortable with the language that's used, then the quality of the care could be compromised. And this follow-on strategy to more than just words makes it clear that everybody who works in health and care should not only ask the question, what's the matter with you, but what matters to you? What do you think is the best way of getting the message across to staff at all levels so that this follow-on strategy, its aims are fulfilled? It's really important that we do find a way of conveying this message to all levels of our different organisations in Wales. And the starting point is that there must be leadership from the very top of the organisations. It's very important that this is something that becomes ingrained in the way an organisation is behaving. So I do have expectations for the way a chief executive of a health board will behave and certainly how a director of social services will set out their expectations. If we're going to target at all levels, I think it's really about recognising how the use of language is something that fits with dignity, care and respect for patients and the way in which this is part of their care expectations. And actually, if people want to use their language of choice, that is about delivering care as well as hopefully discharging really excellent treatment in the NHS. The strategy is very much a whole system strategy, building on the original strategy, but making sure that no opportunities are lost in building a service and a workforce that really focuses on what matters to you, matters to us. And the focus being on the active offer, it's the responsibility of the service to ensure that the service that's delivered is in the language that matters to the individual. Do you think there's a need to look again at the planning of the workforce, the way it's done, and also the setting up of organisations to make sure that the importance of Welsh language provision is not overlooked? It's important that although we want to have individuals who can discharge care um, quite rightly across a range of services for the NHS and for the social services sector, that staff do have an appreciation and understanding of actually what it means to work in Wales, uh, where there is a reliance on the Welsh language. Um, and I think we can do that in a number of ways. From my perspective, it's to make sure that people are really aware of the active offer that is to be made. That is about training and communication to staff. But it's also about recognising that organisations need to have bilingual strategies. And actually, for me, it's just a formal part of the induction process for any new individual joining an organisation. How much of a challenge is it to fulfil the aims of this strategy? It is a challenge to ingrain these issues, not least across a large organisation, for example, like the NHS. But actually, it's possible. And I think the way it's possible is by making sure that it's individual staff who understand and appreciate what this will mean to the individual patient in front of them. Welsh language services is so important for those patients who speak Welsh as first language. And it's vital that we make the active offer at the start of the patient's journey within the NHS. My grandfather moved from North Wales to live with us in South Wales. And he'd lived all his life in a Welsh speaking area. And he was taken ill and the doctor told him he had shingles. Because he didn't understand the word shingles, he was quite worried. He didn't understand what was wrong with him. And my father had to go and look it up in a dictionary to find the Welsh word. And when he told him that he had error, my grandfather was somehow much more peaceful because he understood what was wrong with him. My role as Welsh language officer is to ensure that I raise Welsh language awareness among staff. It's important that I'm there to support all staff who have shown any interest in the Welsh language. There's a Welsh language officer in every health board and it's the Welsh language officer who should be the first point of contact for any queries regarding the follow-on strategic framework. Ydych chi wedi bod nôl as a doctor i weid trwy chi'n teimlo? Ddim felly yna. Dylech chi felly? Tybed. It's important that patients know which members of staff speak Welsh. This can be seen by staff wearing the Working Welsh lanyards and badges. It's also important that Welsh music is played on the radio, on the wards, Welsh language material is available and S. Pedwarek is available on the television. Taking these small steps will make such a difference to patient experience within the health service. In peth oedd yn codi calon, dyn wrth gwrs oedd y ffaith bod na rai o'r nyrsys yn gwybod i bod nhw'n Nghymru. Mi nes i'n gorau i roi rhyw air neu ddau yng nheg cydig o'r nyrsys ac oedd hwn yn falch o'r profiad. Ond y bwgan oedd 
bod pob un oedd yn dod yno o ran meddygon ac ati, doedd na ddim sôn ei bod nhw yn ymddiddori yn y Gymraeg, hebau na un yn siarad Gymraeg, doedd na ddim arwydd, na ddim byd ar ei gotau ei ddweud hynny, a rhoi ti'n bach mwy o gysur i'r claf. I met a nurse in Merthyr once who was really kind, and I thought she sounded a little bit as if she might speak Welsh, so I asked her if she did, and sure enough, she'd learned Welsh a few years ago and had got out of practice. So we had a little practice for about half an hour, and it made me see, feel so much at home that I was able to speak Welsh with her for that half hour. It made all the difference. I come from a Welsh-speaking family, so I would have felt more comfortable if I could speak Welsh when I came to the hospital but unfortunately I didn't have the opportunity to speak Welsh because I didn't get the option from the doctors or nurses. Senior managers and leaders have a role to play in ensuring that the active offer becomes part of everyday life within the health service. Care and language really go together don't they? They go hand in hand. Care and language absolutely go together in terms of what it means for an individual patient and we care for many contacts across the whole of the NHS and social care in Wales. Really important that people understand that this is an individual need to give people support. At times of anxiety, certainly at times of particular treatments like dementia, people will revert to their language of choice and an active offer really needs to be made if you're going to give good treatment for the future and for them to be able to recover. As we've just seen, care and language, they go together. It's impossible to separate them. And the focus of this follow-on framework to more than just words is to provide care that meets the needs of the individual rather than just to follow procedures. You can't expect everything to change overnight, but already a lot has been achieved because of the commitment of those working in health and care on a daily basis. Little things can make such a big difference and by remembering to ask those who use the services not only what's the matter with you, but what matters to you, then we'll be well on the way to turning vision into reality. <laughs> <laughs>